Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. Oh, what do we got here? Well, this box behind me is the new steering wheel for the Red Eye. I'm gonna show you guys the current steering wheel. It is uh, pretty much f***ed up. So here's the steering wheel that I have on the car right now. It looks pretty good until you look over here. And what the hell? Yes, so this part right here was not finished. I don't know why the factory decided to not finish this, but they didn't finish it and well uh, that's a problem so I basically had to wait for a new one to get made and well that took about three weeks it took another week to get delivered and well we're here so here is the new steering wheel let me get this out the way BAM all right, it's gonna be hard to get it out with one hand but we're good all right but here is the steering wheel as you can see it's actually done here it's all done with one piece. Let me compare this to the other one. All right, so let's put this over here. All right, let's see if it's gonna, all right. So here's the new one, here's the old one. They're pretty much the same steering wheels, except this piece is done and this piece is not. So anyways, we're gonna drive to the shop and install the new steering wheel. I am so excited to finally have a finished product. Push the 85 fill up and the worst pump to ever exist. Look at this, look at this. It's just, you, you can never get this pump to be straight. All right, it's time to bounce. Look, I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty salty that the company that up my steering wheel didn't uh, pay me for the reinstallation because it's not cheap to install a steering wheel. You literally got to take it all apart, transfer all the parts, then install the new one. It takes time. And I am salty that the company didn't want to pay me for it because it's not my fault you fucked up my steering wheel. Made me wait an extra month to install the actual steering wheel. So that is kind of annoying. I don't like to complain and I'm not the type to complain about little stuff like that, but it's a lot of money to install this. It's not cheap. It's not like 50 bucks to install these steering wheels. So we made it to the shop. First thing we got to do is disconnect the battery. The reason we're disconnecting the battery is obviously we don't want no power because the airbag will go as soon as we start to take it out. So it's pretty simple. We got to take the airbag out. So we just pop off the airbag. This is honestly the most difficult part is popping off the airbag. Now the wheel is off. So here's the steering wheel we just took off, the messed up one. Transferred all the parts, they're right here. And he's putting them on the new one. So here's the thing with these steering wheels. Every single time we put one on, this is the third one we're doing, okay? Because we did two for the red eye, one for the Mustang. There's always an issue, always, always. I mean, we had a trouble with the airbag not, you know, going all the way through. We had trouble with it not being, you know, done. The carbon fiber was not fully done. We had trouble with every little thing, getting the wires, everything. It's just always a problem with these steering wheels. And I just want to remind you guys, for those of you guys who are going to buy one, they are getting shipped from Hong Kong. So anything from overseas isn't going to be the best top quality. They're not made in the U.S. So what that means is there's always going to be a little issue that goes into it. If you buy one, do not try to install it yourself because there's so many challenges. There's so many issues that are going to come up because you don't know what's going to happen. I mean, you might get lucky and it just fits perfect. Everything goes well. For example, the first steering wheel that I got for my red eye had a different thread for the screw than this one. So we couldn't use that screw. We had to go out and buy new screws. So things like that are always going to come up because it's not made in the US. It's not going to be 100% perfect. So you have to adjust to all the challenges that are going to come with it. So here we got the new steering wheel. Finally, it's a normal steering wheel. We pretty much put everything together. Now we just got to put the airbag and obviously we'll wire it before we put the airbag together. So we also got to swap the brain of the steering wheel. You obviously need this for the LED, you know, lights to work. So here is what was on here before. Um, I think they're pretty much the same thing, but just in case we're gonna put the new one. So here is the old steering wheel. So TJ is connecting the airbag now. All right, here goes right nothing. Boom. Just make sure it doesn't pop up. Yeah, or like try to pop it out.
Yep. Wow. Finally, after two months, <laughs> we finally got a working steering wheel, guys. Let's see if it works now. Come on, E85. Yes, sir. Oh, it's a kilometer! TJ's gotta change that. So TJ knows how to change it back to miles per hour. We're headed to the shop. Um, I gotta go see my tuner, Justin. So if you guys have been keeping up with the videos, you guys know that I had a couple issues with the throttle body. Um, we sent it out, we got a new one, we installed it. We raced the BMW M5 and it went into limp mode again. So I don't know if it's the throttle body or if it's something we can fix with the tune. So I told my tuner, Justin, you know, if he could look at it, he said, bring it by. Maybe we could adjust a few things on the tune. So that's where I'm headed now. So we got the car here. I love the way it sounds. Just hear the blower. You guys hear it? It's like whining in, in a way just because of it being ported. It sounds so good. Shout out to Jokers for really doing their thing. I'm so glad I ported the blower because it sounds so much better than any other Hellcat out there. So what we're doing now is I'm gonna leave the car here. My tuner is about to be at the shop. He's gonna basically take care of it, try to figure out the issue with why the throttle body is acting up or is it maybe tuning wise? I don't know, the car keeps going in limp mode and only when I do a pull, it's not like if I'm cruising and it's going in limp mode. So we're gonna leave it here and I'm waiting for my ride right now to pick me up. All right, my ride is here. All right, we're home. We're about to get in the Ram. This thing needs a wash by the way, so look at that. It looks clean on camera, but it's actually really dirty. So let's, oh. So where we're going right now is uh, the car wash. So a buddy of mine owns a car wash and he's been asking me to come by so they could detail a car for me. And well, um, the other two cars are wrapped, so I don't need them to get detailed. I take care of that myself. But the Ram hasn't been cleaned in a little while. So I was like, look, I'll bring the Ram, clean it for me. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And the red eye right now is getting all figured out. So hopefully by the end of the day, this thing will be clean, the red eye will be figured out, and we could go out and do a proper pull and you know, it working and not going into limp mode. Hey, you can park oh it. God. I came here, I, come on. I, hey, look, I'm not eating this time, see? I lost oh yeah, it. look, he lost the one. last time. Look, hey, I'm not moving anything. <laughs> you work here, you gotta do this. I got hey, you, come on. I got it. I, I didn't wait, am I gonna? Yeah, you get to drive. I get to drive your car? <laughs> yeah. Don't mind if I Dad, do. don't don't speed in it. Okay, I won't. I promise. Hey, this is probably the See, first car wash safety, this car's ever got. I mean, you're only moving it over there. Relax. Safety first. Safety first. Reverse. Ten and two. Ten and two. <laughs> Is that Laramie? Yeah. Hey, should I do a pull? Yeah, go do a burnout real quick okay, for us. Bad, bad. Actually, you actually did it. Horrible service. <laughs> hey, only you can wash it. You're not about to help. Nobody's gonna help you. You know that, right? I can't, Cause you've been man. begging me to bring a car for you to wash. You're washing it yourself. You know that, right? I'll do this. It's super dirty, Look, isn't it? Perfect. It's Done. dirty right now, but Zach is gonna take care of it. <laughs> you were supposed to do it. I got a little bit. Man. You're not doing. Sh Look at this guy. He doesn't even like to work. But we're finally getting the ram all cleaned up. Oh my god, so Zach is rescuing a dog right now in the middle of washing my car. There's a dog running. Look, and Zach just went across the street, almost got hit by a car. Hey, good stuff, Zach. Like, you're a firefighter. Look at, say, Look at you, you're a superhero. Not all superheroes wear caps, bro. Okay, I see you. You just saved the dog's life. This is what I gotta do. 
because Zach can't do his job. <laughs> So my tuner just texted me. He has the car right now. He's data logging. He changed a few things and uh, basically it's not going into limp mode. So, so far it's looking good. He said it hasn't went in limp mode. He changed a few things on the tune. So it's looking really good right now. So maybe after we finish cleaning the Ram, we could head out there and pick that red eye up. I'm so excited. I just want to finally get back in it and run some people and just have fun with it. I love racing that car and I just haven't had the chance to. So Zach is uh, finally going to do something. The car is pretty much all cleaned up. He's using the tire shine right now. Looks so good though. Let me show you guys the inside. Look, he's using the tire all shine. The people that are gonna say I didn't do nothing. This is the only thing he did, guys. No, 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 that's the not The only thing. It's clean from inside. He literally only did the tire shine. But it looks good. This, my friend, is what a hater looks like, guys. Look it, I'm sweating right now just because Zach didn't want to do his job right. But anyways, uh, we're pretty yeah, much done. He, 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 he literally all did nothing. It was literally all his work. Hey, it, look at and me. Got two haters. Like, now that Ron got the cam, now that Ron got the camera on, he's sitting here trying to do the. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I got the, I took the camera on. Now he wants to be a worker and trying to help out. I saved the dog today. I you did dog save a dog him. before you came. He saved the neighbor's dog. Really? Yeah. But anyways, uh, we're about to finish it up, and then we're gonna get out of here. Um, I gotta find a ride to go pick up my red eye because. I can't drive two cars at the same time. So the red eye is all done. Just talked to Justin, my tuner. He took care of everything and we're ready to go pick it up. All right, guys, we're here. I got my truck right there. I got somebody taking that back home, but the red eye is here all done. And now it's time to take it out and do a couple pulls and just see how it feels. He did say it feels a lot faster. He tweaked up the tune, perfected it. Over time, you obviously gotta do that just because every car is different. So. Everything's good. I'm ready now to take it out and do a few pulls and obviously I'm going to share that with you guys too. So it went into lint mode again, so it can't be anything with the tuning. We think it's a throttle body, and I know a few people that had problems with them, so the only way we're gonna diagnose this problem is to know what's causing it. And obviously, you know, when I say the throttle body, it's just like an assumption. So the only way we can figure that out is if we switch the throttle body back to stock, go do a few pulls, and see if, you know, if any issues come up or if it goes into limp mode. If it doesn't go into limp mode, it just means that it was a throttle body issue. If it does go into limp mode, then I have no idea what we're gonna do from there. But I'm going home right now to grab my stock throttle body and then head back to the shop. We're gonna swap them out and then we're gonna do another pull. All right, so we picked up the stock throttle body. It's right here. All right, so we're here right now. We're about to swap the VMP 105 to the stock one. All right, stock throttle body is installed. We are ready to roll. We're gonna go out, do a couple pulls, and come back. Alright guys, so I'm back at the shop. I'm gonna put the other throttle body, the 105, back on the car. Take the stock one off because we just figured out that it's not the throttle body issue. It's something small that he's gonna take care of. It's gotta be something with the tuning. But it's nothing major, but it's obviously stopping us from racing. But now I'm gonna obviously end the video just because this video has just been running. God knows how long this video is. It's like three days worth of filming, but I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. He is gonna look at it tomorrow and try to figure this out because when he went out and did the pulls, it didn't go in limp mode. When I went out and did the pulls, it went in limp mode. We switched the throttle body back to stock and it still did it. So it is not the throttle body issue. It's something that can be fixed with tuning. So it's not a big issue like I keep saying. I'm sorry if I keep repeating myself. But I'm going to wrap it up here. So if you guys like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, smash that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.